Hello. Hello. I've arrived. Artist, archivist, VTuber, and tonight, theoretical medical professional. You can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Hello. Hello. But yes. So. I may have said that we were going to focus on the main story of Ark Knights for a while, uh, but the circumstances have changed. So yes, being perennially uninformed as I am, uh, I kind of forgot about this event. I forgot that it was, like, coming out in the English server, like, as soon as it was. Yeah, I wasn't aware of it having, yeah. I wasn't aware that it even, like, was something that we were had anything resembling a... Yes, that we had anything even resembling a time of when it would come out until, like, the day before it came out. So we're taking a little bit of a detour. So this will be an interesting experience, I think, as I neither have the context of... I neither have the context of, uh... Rainbow Six, nor... Let me... Okay, let me back it up a little bit. So yes, so. Actually, let me back it up a lot because yeah, we got business to go over before I get into things. But yes, so tonight, Ark Knights, we're doing the Rainbow Six Siege crossover. But yes, the second one, the first one, I don't think is available. We'll see, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> we might also do that one if it is, but time might not allow for that. Anyway, so beyond that, um, Yes, tomorrow, most likely, we'll be streaming once again. Probably it will be Ark Knights once again, in that case. <clears throat> because yes, I do want to, where it is feasible, have two Ark Knight streams a week. And this is going to be a short stream, necessarily, because we're starting rather late. But yes, so. Anyway. Tomorrow's stream will likely begin sometime around 8.30 p.m. Circumstances may change. I will keep you informed as best I can. But yes, now that we've said all that, we can get into Ark Knights. So yes, like I was saying, this is the second Ark Knights and Rainbow Six Siege crossover event. I did play the first one. I played it fairly extensively, enough to get uh, Tachanka unlocked and fully upgraded or rather to get all of his uh, tokens. But yes, which is a thing that you can you can earn additional tokens for operators that are given away for free as part of events by doing those events, broadly speaking. Yeah, I brought up yeah free operators, welfare operators, as they are often called, before when we were discussing uh, Gabiel, uh, the Great Chief Returns, but I never really went into any of the extra details. I just sort of mentioned that they exist. But yes. So, I did the first event, but because that was part of the time when I was anticipating that I would want to stream Ark Knights, but had actually started streaming Ark Knights, and I was still in that phase when I was thinking, well, on stream I want to play games for the first time. So, any Ark Knights, you know, any Ark Knights that I do, I will, if I have to play Ark Knights, any story content in this game, I will do so skipping through the story. So, all of this is to say I have absolutely no idea what the story of the first event was, and I have uh, no idea what the lore of Rainbow Six Siege is like, broadly speaking. I know vaguely of a few characters, but... I'm very much going to be in the dark on this. So we will we will see how that all shakes out. But yes. So Ark Knights, Rainbow Six, tonight, tomorrow. But yes. Next week, I don't see any particular reason why anything would be different from usual. So we should see a stream on Wednesday, 8.30 p.m. Central Time, and a stream on Friday, 9 p.m. Central Time. 9.30 might be a little bit more realistic, considering that, uh, yeah, I've not kept to my 9 o'clock promise very often. But yes, I guess, yeah, I work an hour later on Friday versus Wednesday, which is why I start later, but, you know, 
if I'm working an hour later and I'm only setting my time back 30 minutes, then, you know. But yes, I probably could, could get ready within, you know, by nine o'clock, but I haven't developed the routine for that, the skills to make sure that I get that taken care of, everything squared away before stream. And I don't want to leave my various uh, duties unfulfilled until after stream, because that would be a problem for other people. But yes, anyway. So, where was I? Arknights, yes, okay. Yes, we're playing Arknights tonight. Yeah, once again, barring this, because again, I did make, a, I did make the exception earlier. <clears throat> that certain uh, timed events would probably break the established pattern. But um, yes, going forward, yeah, going forward after this event, we are focusing mainly on the main theme, as well as certain intermezzi events, and sprinkling in a few side stories here and there. And we will continue that until we have completed all of the story content that I am mostly focused on, which again is main themes and intermezzi. But yes. So, after that, on the side I will continue to, to work through side stories and vignette events as, as they come up, and we will also most likely be doing, uh, yeah, t sort of uh, new events as they pop up as well. But again, all of that will be sort of on the side while I pursue other projects. But yeah. So, I think that's all that needs to be said on that. So, let us get into the game. I've said it before that we usually don't focus too much on the gacha here, because I generally don't like gacha very much. But, I do make a one-time exception for any of these limited banners. So, let us see what we can get with a 10 roll. Yes, no six star, it looks like. And only one five star. Pretty good chance that it's going to be a rainbow operator, but I suppose we will see. Have we used Beanstalk before? I feel like we've used Beanstalk before. We've definitely not used Ambriel before. I, I'm pretty confident we haven't used Ambriel before. I definitely would like to use Ambriel. Definitely haven't used Sisuro. I don't know why I'm calling these out, but... Captain of Reserve Op Team A6, Orchid, we have used Orchid. Are you the doctor? I am the doctor. The name's Rope. Nice to meet ya. Yes, another pull oh, operator. But yeah, I was... Yeah, again, I was definitely oh, impressed with uh, F Eater's performance there towards the end of the... Uh, Great Chief Returns. Or more specifically, I was impressed when I realized that, uh, yeah, specialists that specialize in moving operators can have stats that are comparable to those of guards, if probably a little bit lower. Yeah, again, I just sort of assumed that they would be much lower. But I suppose if they are able to be placed on melee tiles, it makes sense that they'd be able to survive being on melee tiles, you know. But yes, I think we're one or two away if I've been... Well, I was going to say if I've been keeping count, I have not been keeping count. If I'm estimating correctly. Alright, here we go. Londinium citizen self-salvation ah. callcaster Rock Rock reporting in. Doctor, we've had a few misunderstandings in the past. Rock Rock is a character with a fun name. by those old prejudices anymore. I hope we can have a good working relationship. But yes. So, no rainbow operators this time, it seems like. I'm not going to... <clears throat> yeah, both for the sake of time and just for the sake of lack of interest. I'm not going to keep going. Eh, I don't know. I might do, I might do one more. I think we're out of the realm of... Yeah, so I was going to say, I think we're out of the realm of new operators. We definitely... Definitely were. So... Shall we, once more, into the breach? Well, 
All right. No six star once again. At least one five star, and yeah, number number seven once more. Bank, Try to get through these a little bit faster. My team and I will do our best to serve Rod. I'm not quite I'm sure also, what the logic is intern. on these for I'll be assisting with how, surgery and yeah, how quickly medicine. you can skip through them. Because it feels like some characters you can essentially just like... Some characters it feels like you can skip through faster than others. I don't think it strictly goes by the length of their dialogue lines. Though I think ones with particularly short dialogue lines do allow you to skip sooner. I'm glad to be working with Cruise. Yes. Again, I'm pressing the skip button just skips you all the way to the end nice and doesn't you, let doctor. you see this little introduction. Lana, so I would like to job, avoid right? that. Oh. Code name Iana, Team Rainbow. There's a lot of intel we can share with each other. Nice. Alright. And so I think we're Princess probably good at this point. Told me to assist Miss Chen. Hello! I've never been in such a big ah, mobile I don't think I've heard a uh, cardigan's English voice before. Mary of the cardigan here. Are you the doctor? Indeed I am. <clears throat> Alright, so we have one new rainbow operator. And with that, let us jump right into the battle. Alright, so, where do we... I guess, hmm, the layout's always a little bit different on each of these. I suppose this is where we are to go. That's it. Alright, CRST1, Specialty Visitors Channel. We've arrived at Magnet Hill number two. Repeat, we've arrived at Magnet Hill number two. Doc, how are things on your, over on your side? Exterior clear. Yes, I'm not... I'm not familiar with any Rainbow Six Operator's voices other than the ones that I already had. And even then, only kind of vaguely. So you'll have to forgive me if I'm flailing in the dark a little bit. <clears throat> Considering the unique properties of Magnet Hill number two, I suggest we meet up. Agreed. Your own recon report, Iana. Almost no difference from the way we left it. Readings are virtually the same, and there is no sign of activity from other, any other party. Looks like the quarantine on Magnet Hill Number 2 has been pretty well enforced. Which is to say there's nobody here. And that's not good news, because we're here to look for, that missing, for the mission, missing Ash Squad. Keep your eyes open. We'll proceed to Levi's main lab once we rendezvous. Yes, I do know enough about the Arknights and Rainbow Six crossover to know that uh, essentially the members of Team Rainbow that we have uh, were Isekai'd. Though I don't under I don't know under what circumstances. I suppose we will discover that, or maybe we won't. I don't know. But yes, the way that this is written, I'm assuming that uh, this other squad that is searching for Ash's squad is. Still on Earth, presumably? Here we are. Yeah, Stock and Fuse, I think, was the was the fourth one. Yes, Fuse is the welfare operator for this event, I do believe. Are you sure? This is where Levi's main lab was, according to the map. We were only one step behind Cohen. There were tremors, then... I don't know if it was that madman Levi or something wrong with the equipment, but the whole lab disappeared into thin air. Ah, I suppose that's probably an explanation. Something of one, anyway. Into thin air? Are you sure? I'd say that, in my expert opinion, it's the most fitting description of the events. That just doesn't seem possible. No explosion can wipe out all evidence that a lab ever existed. It wouldn't have left a big hole like this. 
leaving sending only a few tremors through the, those outside. Yes, one thing that I know from Rainbow Six memes is that uh, Fuse definitely knows a thing or two about exploding places. And people, also. Earthquake? Or is it like you said? It's not an earthquake. The tremors might, be, might well be linked to the disappearance. Find cover and wait for the tremors to pass. And now we find ourselves in a museum or something of the sort. How many floors are there? My legs are starting to scream. Keep going up. We need to reach the Raynell's penthouse. Can we take the elevator? Why do we have to climb these stairs floor by floor? You think I don't want to? Recon squad on the security here just indicates that the penthouse is only accessible by these stairs in his own private elevator. There are guards posted by the elevator on every floor. Security is weakest on the stairs. That's where we break through. Yeah, he's just a Casimirian who just Casimirian who just who came to make some money, isn't he? Not like he has anyone backing him up. Why do we need to be so careful just to get him to sign a transfer agreement? He has money. That's all the backing he needs. Keep moving. Quit looking around. I guess we're not in a museum. I had heard from, or I had assumed from having seen the word Galleria earlier that this would be a gallery or something like this. <laughs> I'm completely spent, boss. I'd rather take the lift and fight my way through. Shh. Captain? We've almost reached the office. Quiet down. Quite the outfit that fellow has. A letter. I told you you can open those on your own. No need to ask me. It says for your eyes only, Raynell. Where's it from? Asimirs. It looks like it's from your uncle. Uh, the usual inheritance demand. Also, one from the Dassault's municipal government. A letter from the city. Probably nothing important. Should be another stupid banquet invitation. Maybe Candela will be there. We could discuss the opening ceremony with her. It's not far off, after all, and you've spent so much time and effort on it. It's probably going to be spectacular. Come, stand with me, Milos. Definitely not pronounced like that, but... Unfortunately, I don't know enough Polish to be able to say that. The man stand, walks up and stands by the red-haired Volpo's side. I admire the artwork at the end of the room, about the height of two persons. I'm naming it The Fall of Order. What do you think? Uh, sure. You want to show it at the opening? We've always been straight with each other, haven't we? Is that twisted curve intended to represent the fall? No, it represents the fleeting gaze of society on man. So we're not in a museum, but... We do seem to have an artist on hand. A dogmatic gaze that considers all that does not conform to be madness. Lines that can only emerge from a post-profound silence Iberia. The Iberian Inquisition, certainly a symbol of order. On the right, does that indescribable cone represent the spires of Leitanian? No. Imagine Sargon in its millennia of wind and sand, the Lord's Emir, the Padishah, the Golden City, Fantasizing the exotic is also a construct of internal order. The last gasp of imagination, once broad, now left with nothing but cliché. Oh dear, it looks like we're having some internet connectivity issues again. Hmm. You know what? I'm in deep enough. We're gonna keep going one way or the other. Yes, right, that makes sense. I pulled that all I pulled all that directly out of my behind. Uh, your artistic style has always been unique from medium to expression. 
How many golf balls did it take? A thousand? Two thousand? That's not important. What's important is the last one. Would you do me a favor and do and put the finishing touch on it by placing this one on top? What would happen? It will be completed, and at that moment... He sees the shadows flash past the bottom gap of the office door. The door is kicked open before he could react. The whole room trembles, causing the teetering sculptor before him to collapse, sending golf balls flying everywhere. The ball? Raynell and you, security over, se secretary over there. Hands on your knee, heads, and get down. No sudden moves. Who are you? Doesn't matter. You and your boss are going to come quietly if you know it's good for you. Something is approaching rapidly from above. Must be a particularly big foul beast, the officer thought. He pays no heed to it and points his crossbow at Raynell. The half-collapsed golf ball sculpture standing between them. Then he hears a loud noise from the ceiling, right above what remains of the sculpture. If there's one thing, well, I don't know much about Rainbow Six Siege, but you gotta, you gotta watch the ceiling sometimes. I know that much. I have played Siege, actually. Then another. You can never be sure that no, no one is going to breach from b above. This time, a large hole appears in the ceiling, along with the sound of broken planks. Several dark shadows fall through the shrapnel mixed dust onto the floor of Raynell's office, smashing what remained of the sculpture, sending golf balls flying in all directions. The soldier was about to let out an expletive, but it died in his throat. The shadows began to move. Everybody alright? Just a little scrape. I'm fine. Doc? I I'm okay. Yana gives Doc a hand and sees that he is holding a golf ball which left a round mark on his forehead. I'm fine, other than a little knock from a golf ball. Next question. Anyone know what happened other than that we somehow fell into a pile of golf balls? Quite the circumstance to fall literally into, huh? Why didn't we just go in through the roof? We wouldn't have had to climb the stairs if we did that. Shut up. Prepare to engage. A crossbow? Prepare to engage. I guess you aren't exactly friends. You bring a weapon, Milos? Nope. <laughs> well, in that case, uh, you'd better duke it out amongst yourselves to decide who gets to kidnap me. There's only one of me, after all. Time for a sip, it sounds like. A drink, Marlos? Pass, I still have to protect you. Kidnap? Furry kidnapping party? That's new. Enough chit-chat. Drop your weapons and get away from Raynell or we'll shoot. Well, they're coming for us. Kidnappers are not. Sit. Find cover. Yana, Doc, take the non-combatants and get out of here. Hughes and I will cover you. sank the halos and they don't look like black steel either those idiots have a death wish they think they just think guns look cool move don't let them get away with Raynell. on your taniana hostile down those guns aren't just for looks stand your ground we have backup Reserve squad, quit fooling around and get out here. I can't get to the non-combatants. There are too many of them. Yana and I are suppressed. Reloading. I'm up. Frag out. Ineffective. Hostiles are blast resistant. 
Roger. Fuse. Smoke. Smoke grenade out. Smokes won't solve the real problem. Need a cluster charge? I still have plenty. That's one way, but Guzmat works better here. Yana, Doc, get those non-combats to cover. Fuse and I will cover. <clears throat> Firing. Stay back. Don't resist. I'm taking you to cover. Why do we have to... Look out. Sneak attack? Looks like you're more than just a secretary. You talk too much. Get back, sir. You're in the line of fire. Trying to fight real weapons with a wine bottle? Idiot. Very immature. He's out cold. I'll carry him. You get that guy in white. They're trying to take Raynell away. Stop them! We can't get close. Their guns fire too quickly. Ugh. What are you doing when they're not firing? They keep finding dead zones and their coordination. There are only four of them. How many guys do we have? We're in cover. We can hold out for a while. Reloading. That guy's out. Get him. Yana, smoke. Smoke grenade out. <laughs> Another smoke grenade? Is that the best you can... Flying out. Sticking it. Here's a memento. Get out of the way, Fuse. The other two are trying to hide. Around them and... They've swarmed without any caution from possible explosives. No tactical awareness whatsoever. Let's disarm them first. Tend to the wounded, Doc. Clear. 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 All clear. No casualties. That's good news. Even though we were shooting to incapacitate rather than kill, these guys were still unusually tough. That one there survived a full shotgun blast at, at point-blank range. Good news indeed. One more thing. Not sure what it means, but look at the animal ears. You can see blood vessels if you look closely. What? Is that part of Levi's research too? My compass isn't working. What about yours, Doc? If we're really near Magnet Hill number two in the Southern Urals. Doc looks behind him. Where the wind is blowing, the curtains open. The squad walks out to the balcony and takes in the sight outside. Quite the sight indeed. The setting sun shines down between towering skyscrapers. Paint the waters red. Tourists in swimsuits lie on the beach, enjoying a lazy holiday afternoon set to ice cream truck music. The only man in the room who can still stand slowly walks towards them. This is the Urals, and I'm George Clooney. It's clear we're no longer in the mission area. Did we teleport? Where to? The Maldives? It looks like a vacation spot, all right, but I don't think it's the Maldives. Maybe we can un ask the unfortunate victims. Now, speak of the devil. Could you answer a few questions, sir? Who are you? What is this place? And who are those armed men? I'm happy to explain a few things out of gratitude for the surprising ending that you created for my work. Before formal introductions, however, I must correct one premise. I was never an unfortunate victim. Not before, not now, not ever. Can we get back on topic? Very well. Welcome to the dark heart of Bolivar. Welcome to the Souls. My name is Renel Kowalski. Kowalski. Call me Ella, Mr. Renal. But, given that we need to quickly grasp our situation, I think we can cut the introductions. I'll ask and you'll answer, alright? 
Doesn't look like I have a choice. Which country does the souls belong to? Bolivar, in name at least. Bolivar, you mean Bolivia? I don't know a city named Das Souls in Bolivia. What about you, Yana? No. Let's try another way. Which continent are we on? South America? Continent? I'm not sure what you mean. You mean the name of our landmass? That's Terra, obviously. Hmm? Oh. It's not every day I hear my mother tongue spoken. Your mother tongue? Nothing. Keep going. <laughs> I never thought I would be asking this, but... Mr. Raynell, are we on planet Earth? Planet Earth? I thought all I had to do was answer questions, and now I'm beginning to have a few of my own. Yana, maybe you can do better with the questions. Yana? Yana does not answer. Her eyes are wide, staring at the horizon in the opposite direction of the setting sun. Ah, she's probably noticed the two moons. The others follow her gaze. Two moons are rising slowly in the distance, one brighter than the other. <sighs> Only has one time for one doodle before they found out. I was close. Gave me a fright when all those people showed up. Hold it right there, girl. You won't get away with vandalizing the Galleria. Shoot, I'd better go. You got lucky today, Raynell. So maybe we were in a museum. Alright. Let's take a little sip. Sip. <laughs> but yes, so... It does seem like we're probably going to have to deal with the potential for a lot of spoilers for a lot of different things. So I hope that you will uh, keep your head on a swivel, as they say, I suppose, because I don't know enough to say what is and is not a spoiler for this event, for, yeah, for past, the past event, or for basically anything else. So once again, we'll simply have to uh, make do with what we've got. Anyway, what we have here is a tutorial. Yes, Doc, Yana, and Jessica. Good to see Jessica is always, or Jessica is helping us with the tutorials as per usual. I've arrived at the target zone. Pardon. Visibility is fine. Should make a good deployment point. Wait. All right. Oh, you didn't wait. The enemies here will launch a, launch a straight shot against an operator in the same straight line, posing a threat to our operators deployed on high ground. Sorry, I guess my armor isn't thick enough. We can position ourselves behind a barricade to avoid being hit by those straight shots. These objects block an enemy's line of sight, and they normally won't make a straight shot at an operator behind an obstruction. Yes, one second. Of course, you can also deploy an operator within the enemy's line of sight, in order to bait out the straight shot. Leave the baiting work to me! Hmm, okay, yeah. Hold on. Ah, hold on. One second. There we go. Probably didn't need to go to the break, break screen to do that, but anyway. Basically, I've got a program on my computer to filter blue light, and it was acting up a little bit, so... Yeah, I think... Yeah, I've got it on both of my computers, so sometimes it's hard for me to tell which one is and is not affected. But, uh, but yes. Anyway, so, we should be good now. Color should have returned to the world. All right. I'll definitely prove 
prove myself this time. Yeah, so not too much to be done here, it looks like. Huh? Why are they attacking the barricade? If there's one thing I know about Rainbow Siege, Rainbow Six Siege, is that you can shoot the walls, and it's usually fairly effective. The drone we just took down has exposed our operators behind around its crash site. Once an operator is exposed, enemies can launch a straight shot at them even if they are behind a barricade. An exposed operator takes more damage as well. So yes, we are definitely replicating some of the, the uh, patterns of Rainbow Six Siege, if nothing else. Thank goodness the barricade will take, take a few straight shots before it crumbles. We must take out the enemies now. Luckily, it seems they're not too focused on taking out that barricade. I won't back down. Hmm. It seems that they're fairly focused now. Or at least they have the potential to be. Yes. All units find cover behind barricades and take you up combat positions. I scouted out the situation above. The enemies are gathering near cover. And it's time for a cluster charge. Careful, there are enemies waiting to strike down below as well. Don't worry, I'm here. Alright, so Doc is here, Fuse is there. Hmm, where do we want to place Doc? Yes, yeah, so. Stem Pistol heals in a straight line. Yana. Okay, yeah, Iana is... Right, so Iana is a, uh... Doll Keeper. Okay, okay, makes sense. Yes, Iana is a character that I have actually played as. I think... Well, I played as her, like, once, I think. While she was free at one point. Um, okay, Doc is... Thereabouts. Hughes... What does Hughes have going for him? Okay, Hughes is a Centurion. So yeah, so he is a multi-target guard with a fairly short range, it seems like. Yes, Doc is a dual strike guard, I think? No, Instructor. Right, right, right. We saw the attack range on him. And then, yeah, Yana is a, uh... Yeah, Stall Keeper, as we saw. And then is... Whoops, pardon. Sorry, Jessica, I didn't mean to startle you. Is Ella a... Okay, she is a trap master, like, uh, Frost. Anyway. Yeah, she is a... Or no. Or no, was... No, Frost was... No, she was. Hold on. I don't remember, actually. Come to think of it. Oh, well. Anyway. One way or the other, let's, uh... Actually, Doc should be behind so that he can Good heal from time to time. Me. And... I'm not sure where we want to place Yana necessarily, but here's probably okay. Oh dear. Alright, cluster charge. Hmm. Yes. Can't quite, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? So yes, it seems that the cluster charges don't blow up your allies like they do in Except actual Rainbow Six. Be. All right, we have learned about walls. Critical information. From the beautiful to the eccentric, art from all four corners of Terra, right here in Souls. Welcome to the Galleria... Cristal. Hmm. Really don't feel confident in that one, but... Combat props. Oh, interesting. I suppose we need to achieve a higher degree of... Uh, completion before we unlock those. Sit. So yes, real quick. Whoops. Why is the... Where'd the movie go? There's the movie. Alright, real quick. I am going to switch Iana into the mix. Yeah, I don't want to spend too much time shifting too many things around. Um, we used Keobe a good deal last time, so we should be fine on her for right now. 
Yes, Kiana. Friendly reminder, my hologram doesn't stop bullets. It does stop one bullet. Precisely one, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Let's see a little bit more about Iana here. So, yes, as we already saw, she is a doll keeper. It seemed like she had switched pretty quickly there, but I'm not sure if I was paying that much attention. At least not well enough to tell what her health was actually like. So, yes, Gemini Replicator. When deployed, creates a holographic mirage at that location. Ah, okay, so she starts out in a alternate form, basically. Or starts out with the Mirage, anyway. But yes, when deployed, creates a holographic Mirage at that location. The Mirage will not attack, but when attacked, nullifies the attacker's invisibility for six seconds and immediately switches to a substitute. All right, so... She starts out outside of her substitute form, but she immediately switches to it upon being attacked for the first time. Okay, okay. And then, yeah, this is a passive, Mirage Mine. And switching to a substitute immediately deals 260% of attack as physical damage to the attacker of the holographic Mirage, as well as the enemies around them. Okay, so this seems to be pretty heavily... Yeah, heavily focused on supporting Gemini Replicator specifically. Yeah, and that's... Gemini Replicator only activates when deployed, so presumably that wouldn't activate more than once. So she's got like one big burst of damage, basically, as far as I can tell from Mirage Mine, rather than having a multitude of them. But yes. Interesting, interesting. Reminder, my hologram doesn't stop bullets. Quite a quite a different view of dust holes, it seems like. <laughs> I'll take a pack of dried cactus. Anti Marco's por favor. Anti Marco doesn't put as much additives. It's not as good as Uncle Mar Marco's. One pack of dried cactus. I'm starving. You look like you've been up all night, developing photos. I can't help that inspiration likes to strike in the middle of the night. So, when are you going to have my photo ready? Oh, I remember now. The one you said was a gift for the girl who's into metal music? She dumped me last month. Memories like to disappear in the middle of the night, too. All the photographers here, I had to pick the one who could never make a deadline. Back from the Galleria Techno? How was it? It lost. What's the matter? Things didn't go well? Didn't you say last night you were going to spray paint the whole place? What does that palace of his look like on the inside? I heard it's a large collection of works from famous artists. I should have gone with you. I hardly got a doodle in before I had to run for my life. Disc, disc. Well, you'll get another chance. And bring me along next time. You too. <laughs> Enough of that, you two. Where's the old man? He's in a bad mood. Hold himself up in his room all day. I guess he's waiting for your good news. So, just to confirm, you don't know Levi? Correct, and I should confirm that you don't know my uncle, right? Tall, wears glasses, smiles in the creepiest way you can imagine. Say any more and I'll start to wonder if your uncle is the one we're looking for. Uh, I think it's just another unpleasant coincidence. Sif. Now that we've resolved our misunderstandings, would you like a drink? No, thank you, Mr. Raynell. We have to go. Why are you shaking, Yana? If we're not dreaming or hallucinating, we've been shot out by some unknown power through time and space and landed in this place. A faraway planet or Earth in some unimaginable dimension of time. I'm just excited, Ella. I get it, but we're not fa just facing a strange world. We have strange problems, too. So stay calm, no matter how excited you feel. 
Yes, if I remember correctly, I think Iana and Ella are related. And I want to say that Iana is something something akin to an astronaut, or she was in training to go to space or something of that matter. I think I might be confusing her for another operator who has a also has a uh, hologram ability, but I think last time I checked there were only like two of them, and one of them deploys a stationary hologram, and one of them deploys a hologram that acts as a drone for you so that you can see through it and control it and all that. And I think that Iana is the latter of the two. I can't remember the I can't remember the, the uh, name of the first one. Hmm. Oh well, I suppose it doesn't matter. So stay calm no matter how excited you feel. Sorry. Let's go, friends. Hopefully we can find a place to stay before nightfall. Well, there's no need for doom and gloom. I'm not ungrateful for you saving my life. I could at least offer a room with four walls and a roof. It needs to be defended. It's four walls that need to be barricaded. Unless you really wanted to sleep on cardboard beneath the sky. It's going to rain. We won't take it for free, Mr. Raynell. For as long as we accept your hospitality, we will protect you and ensure there won't be any other armed men charging into your room. Or falling through the roof. That will do, Milos. She knows what she's doing. We don't know anything about them, Raynell. It's our chance to learn. You're always so willful. You know me. If you're going to turn us down, it would be nice to do it quickly. No, I have no objections. Let's get your employment contract drafted before HR leaves for the day. Ahem. Yes, I'm back. Uh, I heard you were waiting for me. I couldn't do it, but I didn't get hurt, either. Sit. What are you watching? That. Man, Diaz... Diaz is drawn in a very, very distinctive style. <laughs> I must say. He is extraordinarily... Extraordinarily, uh... Full of lines and contours and shadows. Right now, what is he blabbering about this time? Mr. Raynell, as Galleria Kruhaischo uh, Taova, Taova prepares for its grand opening, a local community is also planning an arts festival. What are your thoughts about it? I have a lot of respect for art. The people who live here have good ideas and interesting creations, but an arts festival is not something to be organized by just anyone. They don't have any professional buy-in. It is silly to compare the two. The Galleria has far more significance than their arts festival. We have gathered artwork from across the word in a world in Souls, demonstrating the diversity of culture and art, while providing a platform for art lovers everywhere. As long as they have money, presumably, from the sounds of things. The importance it poses to the development of art in Souls is not something that some amateur arts festival can hope to match. That peddler called us amateurs. Not the first time we've been at odds. All those organizations and critics have used our community as a tool to suck up to him on his first day into souls. Talk smack about us, using our works as comparison to promote his own garbage. He's blocking us at every turn, from exhibitions, disc releases, and even small performances. Remember his so-called community development project? It was a hot mess. We eventually brought it down. Yeah, the hate is mutual. Like you, you went to tag up his Galleria, didn't you? He was the one who hired a writer to blast my friend's work in the papers. Well, since, is he, when, since when has he said anything good about us? Let him. I have a couple of words that I want to say on behalf of all Dossol's artists. 
Why has Galleria Crustalia crossed up? Man, I've got to figure figure these things out one of these days, but it won't be today, unfortunately. We do not have the time for that. Why has Galleria Christa Christalwa drawn so much attention and achieved so much? It's because we represent what is truly of value in the, the Da Souls art scene. Absorbing the cultural nutrients of Da Souls and representing our true spirit. That is the reason why I built Galleria Christalwa. Who did he say he's representing? All Da Souls artists? Where was he when we had to put on a concert for the musicians who escaped the Singas Garden? Where was he when we were trans translating the new Ursus novels? What has he ever done for art on Da Souls? How dare he claim to represent Da Souls? All right, old man, calm down, calm down. Calm down? You know why he's opening his glass house on the same day as our arts festival? What? I didn't believe it when I heard about it this morning, but then he said it on air. It's the same day. What do we do then? We do what we want. Who cares about him? More important to stay focused on taking care of our own. Don't waste your time on him. Sit. Capitan Mateo. Is this everyone who made it back? I... Go on, what happened? This man is also rendered in a very different style. Raynell's guard dropped from the sky and stopped us. We lost a lot of men. I escaped with the survivors. How many of them were there? Four. Just four? Armed with guns. Very well trained. The way they fought was unusual. We couldn't get through. Guns. Thank God. No mention of that in the report on Raynell. Could be Black Steel? Sir, I will take full responsibility for the failure. Please don't punish anyone else. <clears throat> You're loyal to your men. I... No need to be so jittery. That's not a bad thing. Our intel was insufficient. That's all. Now we know more. Take that box on your way out. There's money and casino chips in it. Share it with your men and have some fun at the casino on me. Capitan, are you sure? Keep your ears open. Tongues are loose in a place like that. Yes, sir. Or report if I hear anything. What about that community? The brass are pushing. It's the last piece of the puzzle for the Entertainment District project. We've just got to find a way. If Raynell won't budge, we could start with the community directly. Uh, yes, sir. I'll pay particular attention to anything about that place. You're my first choice to manage the Entertainment District once it's built. Don't disappoint me. I won't. You're here earlier than I expected. Again. I don't like to make people wait. Sorry about that. There was a bit of traffic. It's nine o'clock on the dot. You're not too late. I used to be punctual, but then I realized people here like to be fashionably late. No problem. I got time to check out the exhibits. The Galleria's use of light is unique. Natural light during the day, and then bright as day again at night. You like our art? You like art? In general, I guess, not just ours? No, just a little curious. Feel free to take a look around during your free time. You probably won't get a chance when the, once the Galleria is officially open. What? No employee tickets? Of course there are. What I mean is, you'll be able to take the time to appreciate a work you like before the place is with crowds. Sometimes it's not the crowd that affects your mood, it's a particularly creepy painting. You mean the one at the end of the hallway? That's not a famous piece, it's a portrait of Raynell's father. He was the one who left behind the legacy that allowed us to build this Galleria, far from home, and collect masterpieces from all across Terra. That's why Raynell always felt it was important to do something to commemorate his father. Like putting up a huge portrait here? Raynell wants everyone to see his father clearly. Anyway, it's just a portrait. 
Both Raynell and I believe Mr. Kowalski's spirit goes far beyond that. A faithful son, I see. It's almost time. I'll take you to him. I've been meaning to ask, why do all visitors have to climb the stairs to get to the penthouse? He prefers people to expend some kind of effort to come and find him. Everyone has to take at least one flight of stairs. Ah, so he's pretentious. Well, we already knew that. I've never seen him do it himself. Well, obviously, he doesn't need to expend any effort to reach himself, no matter where he goes. He has his personal elevator. It's the only one in the gallery's office area, and, there are the only, and these are the only stairs. Sounds like what a genius would do, all right. Also sounds vaguely like a fire hazard, I think, that there's only one staircase. The silver lining is that it makes security simpler. Anything else I need to know? No, you have one job. Keep him alive. What about at night? Do you need us to rotate shifts? No, I'll be there at night. All right, the battle begins. All right, ladies, let's keep All it All right, cool. indeed. So yes, yeah, so we don't have a strangely dressed Durin, but we do have a Durin. Hmm, how are we Good going to swing this? Here, doctor. I was a little bit worried about the presence of that drone, but it doesn't seem like it's going to shoot us immediately, so we should be okay. Go for me. Ah. Alright, so... Ah, right, so she's in her substitute form right now, so she won't be able to block. But yes. So, Ready not a lot of are. range on her, but she does have a much wider range. Uh, where do we want to put Jessica? Here, I suppose. Of course, we do need to wait for that... Yeah, there we go. The hound is dealt with. And since we've been healing. using Gabiel, might as well keep her on rotation. Oh, interesting. So yeah, so she did do... She did seem to activate Mirage Mine again once her... Yeah, once her substitute was deployed once more. Don't get yourself killed, dummy. Sit. Probably don't need to worry about this too much, considering that this is a level 20 don't mission worry. or so. Rapid Light Crossbowman. When on the same row or column with an allied unit, makes a straight shot, firing three crossbow bolts, I think it said. Don't get yourself killed, dummy. So, we do need to block down here, it seems like, and we're not going to have any great cover. Yes, I definitely, I feel like there's a lot of potential for, uh, ooh, okay, I was going to say, I feel like there's a lot of potential for, uh, Yana's, uh, skill. Okay, so yeah, so it does definitely seem like she's activating that again, Mirage Mine repeatedly. It doesn't seem like we have any barricades around here, so I think we're just gonna have to live with what we have, I suppose. Interesting, did the... No, I was going to say, I was wondering if the enemy was, like, going out of its way Don't to, like, killed, seek out our units. But I think it's just programmed to move along this route, and it's just sort of attacking as it sees fit. Well, Hang in there, I'm I meant to face, uh, yeah, I had meant to face her upwards. But maybe this was a bad place to put her in general, uh... Well, I guess Utage does always have the potential to take a nap, so we don't need to worry too much. Probably don't need to worry about uh, Myrtle either, to be honest. Come on, get it together. Yeah, the ability to stun enemies, or not stun, she can't stun with Mirage Mine, but the ability to attack enemies at basically any range treat, is very interesting on her. Yeah, definitely, definitely excited about the potential for that. Hmm. 
Set. All right, we're seeing some more fairly significant uh, network issues. They don't seem to be a problem right now, but I did drop some frames earlier. And now my mouse isn't working properly. Oh dear. Hmm. Well, I think I can see now why I uh, stopped using it. Anyway, I was going to say, since we seem to be having some connectivity issues again, and since it's already pretty late, and I don't want to be here for too much longer, I think we're going to skip the post-mission story for this time. And then we will pick that up next stream. Yeah, my mouse is just not not working at all now. Oh dear. Oh, it's not plugged in. That's fine. But yes, it is uh, battery operated. So when I say not plugged in, I mean not charging. So it is just the battery has simply died. Okay. Well, I had, for some reason I had thought that the battery on this mouse was just completely dead, so I'm like didn't hold a charge at all, other than if it was directly plugged in. So the fact that it like stayed charged for like an hour uh, probably means that it's okay. I mean, probably doesn't mean that it's very good because an hour is not a very long time, but it's functional. Anyway, you're going to skip this. And we are going to return ready? later. I was just starting to get warmed up. It is, in fact, over already. Sorry to have to disappoint you there, F Eater. But yes. So, we've got the stamp card here. So, this will, yeah, this will let us get Fuse. But yeah. So, when it's formatted like this, you can see that you can get tokens for Fuse, five tokens for Fuse. You do need to unlock Fuse through playing the mission normally. But yes, before you can access uh, the tokens for him. I think you can still buy them, but there's not much reason to use the token, or not much reason to have the tokens for him if you don't actually have him, because, you know, he won't be there for you to upgrade. But yes, anyway, so. Time to wrap up. But yeah, so I did, again, we did have some connectivity issues this stream, but they weren't too severe and they were spaced out pretty few and far between. So I think it's acceptable. Ideally, we'd have no dropped frames, but you know, I'll take what I can get because the alternative is not streaming at all. And given that this is a limited time event and I can't be 100% certain that it will come back anytime soon, if at all, uh, that's not really an option to just sort of stream only when I have perfect connection. So, one way or the other, we are done for today. And yeah, looking at the options menu just off to the side here, yeah, I'm not seeing anything to suggest, to suggest, rather, that the original one is also playable. Yes. Wouldn't it be... Mm. Yeah, I feel like I would probably see it somewhere here if it was anywhere. And given that I'm not seeing it, I'm fairly confident that it's just not there to see. So... Sit. But yes, so it seems that the original Rainbow Six uh, event Operation Originium Dust, if I remember the name correctly. Uh, it seems that that is just going to be uh, something that we probably don't interact with anytime soon. But yes. Anyway, as you had probably seen during the uh, brief rolling segment, I do have a good amount of resources left, so I'll probably be rolling for Rainbow Six Operators off-screen. I never said that I was opposed to that entirely, I just don't like to devote stream time to it, especially when we're on something of a tight schedule, as with today. But yes, 
definitely excited about, or I'm definitely interested in Iana's function. I don't know anything about Ella or Doc, really, as far as, uh, or, well, yeah, I briefly saw some hints of their abilities during that tutorial, but not long enough to really internalize anything. And given that I've definitely not played Ella or Doc, I don't really have any expectations about them. Again, I'm pretty sure I am moderately confident that I have played Iana. So I did have a vague notion of what she... Well, I didn't really have a vague notion of what she did. I sort of developed an image of it in my mind when I saw her again and I was reminded of what she did because I definitely didn't I don't know her well enough to be able to recognize her on sight but yes anyway fuse I do know the fuse memes so that that much I am able to uh that is a cultural touchstone that is not lost on me but yes so anyway let us wrap up. So, tonight has been Arc Nights. Tomorrow will almost certainly also be Arc Nights. Hopefully we won't start quite so late, and hopefully we won't... Well, again, I have been thinking about streaming later, so we might go as late. Remains to be seen, but... Yeah, this is not too terribly late of a time. But I think going forward, I will probably need to figure out how to get my... Uh, blue light blocker set up in such a way that it doesn't uh, interfere with the stream. It didn't seem to before, but I think the problem is that, yeah, there's like a hotkey for disabling it, and there's a hotkey for putting it into a mode where there's like, uh, yeah, there's a, a mode for disabling it and a mode for putting it into like a grayscale mode when normally it makes things sort of orangey. And given that we, I like lost all color, I'm thinking that I, well, yeah, the only logical explanation is that I had accidentally put it into grayscale mode. So yeah, so I guess if I can just figure out how to not do that and instead, you know, figure out the proper thing or just turn it off again ahead of time. Yeah, either of those would work in making, yeah, making it feasible to stream later without issue. Again, I would prefer it to be seamless, but, you know, I'll take what I can get. So, we are done. We have talked about the schedule. Tomorrow should be around 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Next week, we should be seeing streams on Wednesday and Friday, 8.30 p.m. Central Time for Wednesday and 9 p.m. Central Time for Friday. Yeah, Saturday remains the best day for me, stream-wise, for a third stream, but Tuesday is also a good possibility. We will see, depending on what works best for me. And so, tonight, I think we are going to visit, um, I think we're going to visit Sroka, who is playing a game that I am not familiar with by the name of Red Steel. Actually, it looks like Sroka is away at the moment. I suppose it's not, you know, an awful thing to aid into a uh, into a break. We've done it before, I'm pretty sure, but I don't know. Some sometimes people get a little bit sad when they aren't there immediately to receive the receive the raid. So maybe we will. Okay, actually, the the, uh, the break is apparently ending, according to a bot in the chat, so uh, perfect timing, actually. It was all meant to be. So, raid message? Yeah, raid, there we go. <laughs> Soroka VTube. And the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. There we go. But yes, so. I guess also, I guess now that I think about it, I guess I didn't, uh, 
I didn't give a, an opportunity for a raid suggestion, but it is what it is. Things are what they are. That's usually the way of, of reality. Anyway, so, Uma Musume and Mika and the Witch's Mountain will continue playing those going forward also. Yeah, I should say Uma Musume Party Dash. I don't know which I'm going to focus on more immediately. I think if for no other reason than because I played Mika twice and Party Dash once, we'll probably play Party Dash next. But again, I'm currently prioritizing playing Arknights, you know, twice a week. Or at least three times every other week total. Well, I don't know, every two weeks. More than more than once a week, on average. We'll see about the details. Anyway, so thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you'll continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much and farewell. Let us get this raid underway. <laughs>